Good morning from Ica, Peru. My name is Ivana and we are currently on our way to Lima where we're gonna have lunch and we're gonna catch a flight to Arequipa. It is a four hour drive from Ica to Lima. I was not sure because we were also in Paracas. So these places are quite close to each other. And now we are going back to Lima. We are actually in the street where there are not one, not two, not three, but four really good restaurants. And we are currently gonna have lunch in a restaurant that serves Amazonian cuisine, which has quite a lot of veg food. This is the restaurant, it's so cute. I've seen a lot of restaurants in Peru who are incredibly stylish. Look at these lamps. I've never seen these kind of lamps in my life and they well, they remind me of giant flowers, probably like in Amazon or something, or maybe I'm just biased by now. I love the colors. Wow, this is so stylish. We have these booths. Probably because we're with a big group. We have unique cooking techniques from the Amazon and also unique ingredients for the am from the Amazon. Also, snake fruit juice. I think I saw snake fruit in Taipei, Taiwan, but I never tried it, so. Oh, this is good. It is, right? It's super creamy, peachy. Mm. What is that? A little bit grainy. They had so many amazing fruit juices. So I have an acai, pineapple, and citron, which is kind of like a local mint. Oh, I know that. Juice. Yeah, so about. This is what it looks like. It's more purple in real life. This is yellow, like like it gets distorted. Try it. And no sugar for me. Whoa, this is good. It's like a berry juice with. Um, Oh, I can't really taste the mint, I have to say. I, it's berry juice with pineapple. Ceviche is going to be the entree. And usually it is made with fish. But at this restaurant they have a veggie version with avocado, palm hearts, and some local Amazonian vegetables. Let me try this. Cilantro, lemon juice, obviously like the normal ceviche ingredients. Oh yes, I don't like it. Oh, that's good. I love this one. This is so good. Mm. And we have the cornbread <laughs> to go with it. This one. Thank you, Lota. <laughs> this is super tasty, like on a hot day. It has a little bit of spice, a of lemon. Cilantro. Can see the other one? Really good. Oh yeah, it's okay. Also, I have some veggie empanadas over here. What was in the veggie empanadas? Yuca, I think. Look at this nice and crispy, freshly made empanadas. Usually they're with meat, so I cannot eat them. But these are the veggie ones. Just putting some sauce on it. The sauce is very minty. Por favor. Oh. Mm. Seriously, he was reading the menu. This this wonderful guy. Can we show you? Hello. He was reading the menu and I was like, yeah, talk dirty to me. Like that's 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 what we want to hear. <laughs> All the food dishes sounded absolutely amazing. I would just order anything. We have champignones, we have setas and cayampas and all of this has a sauce that we call it ají negro it's a wild yuca at the amazon we have a wild yuca it's a bigger yuca wild yuca juice fermentation millinery technique from the amazon and that's okay. it mushroom patarashka yep that's a dish i'm about to have oh. also we have some other dishes on the table so this is snake fruit puree with Fish. Some meat with fish. fish. Okay. Sausage. Oh, with fish and sausage. And over here we have coconut rice, different kinds of sauces. But this food also looks really good. We have some other rice over there. Man, this food porn is too real. We're gonna try the mushrooms. Mm. This is super smoky, man. I love like the leaf wrapping. There's this dim sum dish that I can't eat anymore and it's lotus leaves like sticky rice with a minced meat and lotus leaf 
so good, but I can't eat it anymore, obviously. And this tastes like the like the veggie dish of that. Mm. <laughs> Let me just try it with the coconut rice. Different than I tasted before. So it's like with the shredded coconut in it. And usually I taste it with like cooked in coconut. Which is very different. But I like it. I always like coconut rice. Rice and milk on the bottom. With condensed milk, some coconut. On the top you have mango sorbet and kito kito foam. Kito kito is a fruit from the Amazon. Citrus fruit. Okay. Actually, also his grandmother used to make it for him. A smoky flavor ice cream. Okay. We put some pineapple on the bottom and beer reduction on beer. the top. Yeah, beer. Exactly. Beer reduction. Unique dessert. Okay. Cecina ice cream. <laughs> From the bottom to the top. Uh, it's a garnish. It's made with plantains and a chiote. The chiote is uh, spicy that grows in the palm that gives the red color. Then we have the aguaje ice cream, the snake fruit ice cream that you already know the flavor. A snake fruit ice cream. That sauce is acai and pineapple. The, uh, the Amazon they know that as the mazamorra. That is the mazamorra for them. Acai and pineapple, yeah. Okay, after we put the same garnish of the plantain with a chote and some nuts. Now that's the kind of food porn I'm talking about. Oh, I'm gonna try the, the traditional oh, dessert. The beer one I'm not gonna try because yeah. apparently it tastes like pork. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. That is the best one. I haven't even tried the others, but that one is so good. Can we try this one? Obviously I broke everything. <laughs> mm. No, no, no. This is the best one. That one's so good. It's like blueberry with crunchy stuff and then the ice cream. I don't know. Like the other one is also good. They're both good. They all they both get a nine. That's insane. Oh. Lemon mandarin. What do we have here? A spongy cake of nuts. Coffee farinha. That powder is coffee farinha. Gene foam, citrus fruits from the Amazon, sorbets. That uh, that lines that you see is uh, is a glaze made with ají charapita, a bit of chili. Then uh, we have some guanabana, meaty fruit. This is guanabana, the one that I told you. Meaty white fruit, tropical fruit, very popular here in South America. Okay. Yeah, and that's it. And we have a brownie here with cinnamon cookies. And Lota just said it tastes like Christmas. No, no, this one tastes like Christmas. This one tastes like Christmas, okay. Okay, this is the Christmas one. Yeah, yeah it definitely tastes like Christmas. Right? Mm-hmm. It does. Citrus fruit Christmas. Yeah, brownie. Oh, this smells so good. It's made with Amazonian cocoa, right? Mm -hmm. That's so good. That's absolutely mind blowing. Mm. I think I like the brownie better. If I had to rate them both, Christmas gets an 8, brownie gets a 10. The brownie is so good, but I'm a chocolate kind of girl. Chocolate, chocolate always wins. There's more. More? Are you for real? No. Yeah. was waiting for These are bananas. Do you know what is masato? Masato is a technique from the Amazon. We can do masato of yuca, we can do masato of plantains. So, this is banana with also a banana masato. It's a fermentation also. Coffee glaze on the top, coffee farinha on the bottom, yogurt ice cream, and plenty of acai sauce. Wow. Acai bowl. And that's it. Trying the acai bowl, banana. Mmm. Okay. That's very different than all the other dishes that we tasted. I think this is my least favorite, I have to say. Banana. Completely stuffed. What do you expect with five desserts? We all shared, but still, like, ugh, it was so much food. Did you know that Lima is the culinary capital of the world? Of the 10 best restaurants in the world, three of them, three out of 10, are in Lima. Just saying, if you want good food, Lima is your place, man. Currently, we are at the Lima airport because we are taking a local flight to Arequipa. We're gonna discover a different side of Peru. Hola. Hola. 
Bitte schön. In Arequipa. Bienvenidos a Arequipa. Uh, mis amigos. We're here in our hotel in Arequipa and it is absolutely stunning. Like you have to see this. It's like this, I don't know, maybe a little bit like medieval, ancient lobby. Oh man. All of the Peru vibes, loving it. So we need to check in now and we're gonna see the room later. I'm currently walking through the streets of Arequipa. And this place is absolutely stunning. Like every street is beautiful. We're gonna come back here for a tour. So then we're gonna see more. But this is just a little preview. of dates in the country and I'm already buying chocolate we're gonna see how this tastes tomorrow because apparently it's also very good to have with you if you're going to higher altitude which we are doing tomorrow this is a restaurant where we're gonna eat and this is too cute man Arequipa is just so beautiful our guide was just telling us about the famous Peruvian kitchen and this uh, famous chef could you please like tell us more about it Yes, well, Peru offers you more or less about 3,000 types of dishes, main dishes, and over 2,000 types of soups, and about 200 types of desserts. And there is this famous chef, Peruvian yes, chef. Castomacurio. Yes. You no, know, that has actually promoted uh, the Peruvian gastronomy all over the world. So we are now in this restaurant. Is it also like a special restaurant? Yes, this is a restaurant from Gaston Lacourie. Okay, so it, it's his restaurant. Okay, awesome. An entree. We have this beautiful looking dish with quinoa and lots of fresh vegetables. And there are also some avocados in there as well. This looks delicious, man. I love the creaminess of the avocado with like the crunchiness of the quinoa and then you have the freshness of the lime and the onions and the tomatoes good so we're gonna hear more about the ceviche which is typical Peruvian and we've been eating it for the past couple of two days what is the story of ceviche? normally it comes from the north Okay. From the moche or mochica culture. Okay. The people used to go in these little reed boats, you know, kneeling down into the sea and to catch the fish. Of course, they wouldn't come back to the land. They would fish all day long till they decided, ah, why not take a passiflor fruit? That means a tumbo, okay? Which is a passiflor. So they would catch the fish and prepare it there with this, the juice of the tumbo. Okay. Okay, the fish comes from Peru. Yeah. The sweet potato comes from Peru. Tomato too. The onion comes from Europe. Yeah. And then we have corn that also comes from Europe. Then we have pepper that comes from Asia, no? Yeah. So these uh, Mediterranean uh, countries. And we have, what else do we have? And when the Spaniards came here, of course, they replaced the tumbo um, juice with lemon. Okay, wow. Lemon so the Spanish did that? Africa. Okay. That's more or less the story. Cool. No? Interesting. And it used to be called suichi. Yeah. And of course, Ceviche, ceviche, the Spanish. Ceviche. <laughs> cool. One specific thing you really need to know about Peruvian portion sizes is that they are ginormous. Look at my hand, look at this plate. This is absolutely ginormous. And it's amazing food, delicious, big portion sizes. That's how you do food right. If you're hungry, Peru is your country, man. It's a very smoky flavor with the mushrooms. I'm trying to be culinary all day long. It's very tasty. You will see the volcano. You go there tomorrow. 
good comfort food. There's bread 2,000 meters altitude. This is actually really good for your body, like good comfort food. Mm. One more side note. This is a small portion for the locals. This, this is a culinary gourmet portion. Like, do realize that. This is huge. I will say it once again, if you're hungry, come to Peru, my friends. <laughs> Peru will feed you. Checked into the room, just waiting for my luggage to arrive. So in the meantime, I can give you a little room tour. I forgot that with the last hotel. So let's do it over here. Again, we have two massive beds. And over here is a television. They're probably gonna put my suitcase over there. And then we have like a little tea slash drinks area over here. A closet. And then mm, the bathroom. Wait, where is the light for the bathroom? Hola! We are in Arequipa. Every time I say hola, I think about Gloria from Modern Family. Hola! <laughs> I just want to do that. Oh, they have these nice amenities. And over here we have a bathtub. Oh, nice rain shower. Yes, this is a nice place to stay. I'm actually getting sick. I have a stuffed nose. Actually, I, I, I have a cold. Eh, why? Why? I'm just gonna go to bed early. Oh! Oh, this bed looks really fluffy. Wait, is my suitcase here? I hope so. That would be nice. Nope, not yet. So let me just do a quick bed test. Because this bed looks very fluffy. Eh, wait. Am I the only person who always removes this first? Because I'm just like, why is this there? It is on top of my bed. I don't want it to be on top of my bed. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes. It's like sleeping on the clouds. This is so nice. Guys, I'm actually gonna end the vlog here because I'm just gonna take a shower and go to bed. Lotta is preparing me a coca fix. What do we do, Lotta? Okay, so first of all, yeah, you throw three leaves into the wind to pay Mother Earth. Okay. If you enjoyed the food porn today, the Peruvian food porn, put a thumbs up. And if you would like to travel along and see more, click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.